One of the chances, eh? Case After Case with all episodes streaming now on iPlayer. And if you're fascinated by true crime, bad people is the podcast to shock, intrigue and scare you. Listen on BBC Sounds. With a continuous case of bad luck, Lee Mack faces more disasters in comedy on BBC Two. Semi-detached now. Strong strike, private investigator. I'm Robin. Robin Ellicott. It's about my sister. I think she was murdered. We have to find him and put him away. I know you're scared, but we're on your side. You've gone white. You're getting married to someone who hates you doing this. She wanted to see me the night she died. Watch all episodes of Strike from the beginning ahead of the brand new series only on BBC iPlayer. One of the Snooker World Championship across the BBC, the evening session of semi finals streaming now on iPlayer. Watch the latest clips, highlights, and interviews from the tournament on the BBC Sport app and online. All right, she's going to know as soon as she looks at me. It's time to admit I was wrong to you both. Uh, not tonight, later, maybe. It's not exactly a first for you, though, is it? I'm sleeping with her sister, is. We've already done it. Done what? EastEnders 2008, streaming weekly only on BBC iPlayer. Now on BBC One, Clive Myrie with the BBC News at 10. Tonight at 10, controversy over A-level results published today, with well over a third of estimated grades in England marked down. Joy at the results for some students unable to sit exams due to coronavirus, but disappointment for many others. I've spoken to a lot of people who've all said the grades have been lowered. I just think it's like really random and unfair. Results for vocational qualifications released in recent weeks have been in line with grades for previous years, also tonight. Another blow for UK holidaymakers as travellers returning from France, the Netherlands and Malta are told they'll have to quarantine for two weeks. Israel agrees to suspend annexing more of the West Bank as it normalises relations with the United Arab Emirates. How the Nightingale hospitals will help tackle the backlog of cancer patients due to coronavirus. In Belarus, protesters take to the streets in further demonstrations over recent elections they say were rigged. Here they are in close-up for the first time in news reels, the Chinnits. And 75 years after the end of the war against Japan, we hear from one Special Forces veteran fighting behind enemy lines. And coming up in the sport on BBC News, England claim crucial wickets on a rain-affected first day of their second test with Pakistan in Southampton. Good evening. Hundreds of thousands of students in England and Wales and Northern Ireland have received their A-level and vocational qualification results today after major disruption caused by the coronavirus pandemic. The cancellation of exams due to lockdown meant schools and colleges were asked to estimate grades, which were then moderated by exam boards to ensure the results were not significantly higher or lower than in previous years. In all, 78% of A-level results were A-star to C, that's up 2.6% from last year, and 28% were the top grades A-star and A, up just over 2%. But there's controversy because the figures for England show that 39% of grades were marked down while 2% went up. Those students taking vocational qualifications such as BTEX have been receiving estimated results in recent weeks with the Department for Education saying those grades are broadly in line with previous years. Here's our education editor, Branwyn Jeffries. Top grades were up today, a small sweet spot to set 